sound, yeah, my name ring bells, yeah, my name ring bells, yeah, my name ring bells. What you do? Getting money, switching cars and chickens like it's nothing. Blowing heads in the air, yeah, I'm always in the sun. You hear that damn sound, yeah, my name ring bells, yeah, my name <laughs> ring bells, yeah, my name ring bells. What you do? Getting money, switching cars and chickens like it's nothing. Blowing yeah. heads in the air, yeah, I'm always in the sun. The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is our prediction for uh, Vasily Lomachenko and Nakatani. So, I'm going to start this one off with our lead predictor, Ned the TBE. And if you don't know why Ned is our lead predictor, it's because he will steal other people's predictions if we don't make him go first. Not lead, still. Pre <laughs> lead predictor, Ned the TBE. Who you got? Lomachenko? Ned on Nakatani. I think Lomachenko's coming back with a vengeance next weekend and he's going to knock out Nakatani. I think he's going to come in there. He's going to be he's going to be precise. He's going to be an assassin we know him to be and he's going to beat him up and then take him out. So Loma, this is Loma's comeback fight after um showing being a little timid against Teofimo in the first fight, but this time I think he's going to come out here he's going to be with that 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 he's going to have his nose for blood. Or his fangs, fangs sharp. He's gonna be ready to go. He's gonna have the killer instinct, and he's gonna do his get the job done. But it's gonna be a really good fight next weekend. But I'm picking Loma. All right, Trill Dollar Bill. I'm with I'm with uh, the TBE all all the way. I think that Lomachenko is gonna be very aggressive, but he's gonna be on point with it. He's gonna be he's gonna you're gonna see him go inside and he's gonna work inside and then you're gonna see him slip outside and then come back inside the inside the um the long reach of Nakatani, uh, and then he's gonna he's gonna do his thing. He's gonna be like um. He's just gonna be too fast. He's gonna be too fast. I think he's gonna get hit with a lot of rights. A right, right hooks and all that. I don't think I don't think we're gonna see a stoppage, but I just see that he's gonna put them paws on him. He's gonna definitely put them paws on him. It's gonna be a different type of Loma, of aggressive Loma Machenko. So I'm going Loma Machenko. Conspiracy G. Man, yo, Troy, you kind of stole my answer because Nakatani is just big. So I don't think Loma's gonna pull off a knockout like Ned's talking about. Mm -hmm. But Loma is this is where I will say, Ned, I agree with Ned. He has to win. Like, he has to prove to everybody that he's back in it. You know, he wants that Teofimo rematch. So he got to go through uh, Nakatani. And this is the same Nakatani that gave Teofimo a lot of problems. So Nakatani's not like a walk in the park, you know. And he's big. Like, this dude is way bigger than Lomachenko. So Lomachenko's going to have to put in a lot of work. And I think Loma's going to take some, some – he's going to take some shots to get in the inside against uh, Nakatani. But nonetheless, I do believe that uh, Lomachenko is going to pull off the victory. So I got Lomachenko by decision. I'm going to steal Ned's answer. Yeah. I think that Vasily Lomachenko is going to stop Nakatani. And the reason I believe that is because of, of Nakatani's fight with Felix Verdejo. Felix Verdejo dropped him twice and had him hurt. And he was able to recover, and he was able to stop Verdejo. But that's Verdejo's signature, is to be winning and somehow find a way to lose the fight. That's that's what – no one has done that better than Verdejo. Probably <laughs> Amir Khan. You got Amir Khan and Verdejo. They're like 1A and 1B of, like, winning a fight and finding a way, a way to lose it. Um, So I think that – Vasily Lomachenko saw flaws in Nakatani's game that he can exploit. And I think that he's going to land clean enough punches to the point where there's going to be a, a sequence in the fight where he's just landing clean and the ref's going to be like, you know what, you've taken enough, kid. And the ref's going to stop it. Probably like in the later rounds, like after round nine, ten. Um, so that that's what I that's what I envision happening. But, you know, I do think regardless of what happens, uh, Vasily Lomachenko is going to win. But I, I just see it as accumulation of punishment stoppage for um, Vasily Lomachenko based on what Verdejo was able to do with him. Uh, so, I mean, that's what that's what I see happening. Anything anyone else want to add? We're all set. All right. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Check out some of our other videos. And also check out our podcast on all major streaming services. And don't forget that Trill Dollar Bill released Trill Talk today, and it's out and available on all major streaming services. 
It's the Boxing Bros. <laughs> You're welcome.